how to add newsletter on WordPress. In today's tutorial, we will be exploring the implementation of newsletter on our website. So throughout this tutorial, we will learn how to integrate a newsletter feature into various sections of uh, our website, such as a footer or any desired location within the body of the page. Adding a newsletter to your WordPress website can be a powerful tool for engaging with your audience, building your brand, and driving a traffic to your content. So, newsletters allow you to uh, deliver valuable information, updates, promotion, and other relevant content directly to your uh, subscribers' email inboxes. So, with the right tools and strategies, you can easily integrate a newsletter into your WordPress site and start growing your subscribers' list. So, in this guide, I'll walk you through the process of uh, adding a newsletter to your WordPress website and from choosing the right newsletter service provider to integrating the subscription um, form on your site. So whether you are a blogger, a business owner, or a content creator, uh, implementing a newsletter can help you establish a direct line of uh, communication with your audience and foster long-term relationships. So with the WordPress, one of the most popular uh, content management systems, uh, integrating a newsletter functionality is a breeze. So whether you want to place your newsletter in the sidebar, footer, or any desired location, I got you covered. So by the end of this video, you will have a fully functional newsletter uh, feature that will enable you to connect with your readers effectively. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. All right, so to begin, just go to the WordPress uh, dashboard. And once you are there from the sidebar, just head over to the plugin section and click on the add new button. So you'll see the search bar for plugins. So just type in newsletter. And from the options listed, just uh, choose, choose this one and click on install. So this awesome plugin will be our uh, guru for setting up our newsletter. The best part is it's totally free, super easy to install, integrate, and uninstall. So once installed, just hit that activate button and we are ready to go. Okay, so once you have successfully activated the plugin, head over to the left sidebar and take a look. So here, as you can see, you'll notice that a new section called Newsletter has appeared. Okay, now let's hover on it and click on Dashboard. Okay, here, as you can see, a new dashboard pops up. So next, on the top options, just hover on the subscription. So, um, and from there, you'll see options like settings, forms, lists, uh, custom fields, and so on. So just click on forms for now. Okay, so here just click on the HTML forms tab. This specific option contains custom code for, um, for creating a newsletter. And as you can see here, there's a standard form code. Uh, so just copy the code and you can paste it anywhere on your website. It's very that I like that. So, for example, if you want to create a page specifically for your newsletter, you can go ahead and create a new page named newsletter or anything that you want. Okay, now let's create a page. So, to do that, just head over to the sidebar and hover on the page here. And from there, let's just select add new page option. All right, so here you see a new panel that has a different tools where you can create your page and customize it as you want. So here, just head over to the three dots on the uh, top right corner here and scroll down and click on the code editor. So in this mode, you can paste the code that you copied earlier. So just feel free to adjust a placement of the code if needed, such as aligning it to the center of uh, uh, the page or anything that you want. So once you are done, 
uh, simply go to publish option at the top of the page and just click on that so all right so this method allows us to add our newsletter to the website so it's a backend approach we can also incorporate this custom code into a php file such as home.php so we have the flexibility to place this code wherever we want within the file and it will work accordingly so let's take a look at the newly created page by just clicking on the view page here so here as you can see the page is um, now live and functioning as a newsletter okay so here you can see we have our email field and the button that says uh, subscribe so let's just uh, click on the email option and here let's just write a random email addresses like um, like this one for testing purpose okay then click on the subscribe button so after clicking on subscribe you will notice that the page redirects us to another page so on this new page you'll see um, a message displaying confirming that your subscription has been successfully confirmed all right so what we need to do now is restructure the page.php file so by organizing and arranging the elements within the page.php we can achieve a visually appealing layout so once we have completed this step, our functionality will start to look um, polished. Okay, now let's proceed to the back end of the website and navigate to the newsletter section. So here you'll notice that a tab labeled subscribers. So just simply click on that tab to access the subscriber um, um, information. So here, once you have clicked the tab, you'll be able to see that there are a list of email addresses that have been successfully added. That's all there is to it. So just by following this method, we can effortlessly uh, achieve the desired outcome. So in conclusion, integrating a newsletter feature into various sections of our website can be accomplished by following the steps that I mentioned before. So by accessing and copying the custom code specific to creating a newsletter, we can paste it into different sections of our website, such as a specific page or even a PHP files. So this allows us to seamlessly add and manage newsletter functionality throughout our website and ensuring effective communication and engagement with our audience. So that was all for today. I hope you found the information you're looking for. So thank you for watching.